All right. Welcome, one and all. This is your news host, uh, Blacklight Foxy. We, re- we replaced the old guy with me because I'm cooler and you know I'm cooler. Anyway, um, the Plush Olympics are going to be going on in, well, soon. And this time, it's winter themed. And we're recording this in October. So any jokes we make that may become offensive at the time of this video uploading is not our fault. And we are not changing them because we're lazy. Anyway, let's cut right to the chase. This time we have ha- we've got three judges. Waddle Dee, yeah that's me. Coconut Cannon, I'm the coolest one. And finally, wait, what the hell are you doing here? You're supposed to be in BFAP. Okay, for context, season three episodes are taking extremely long and uh, they're bore and like they're getting really stale and boring. And I don't want to watch them. I'm I used to be a host, but now I'm just the guy who reviews the episodes to make sure that there were there are no offensive jokes in them before they get published to the World Wide Web. Uh, okay. Well, why are you here? Because I want to review people on how they freaking ice skate and bobsled. Okay. And the first competition is a boxing tournament. Vault Boy against Kirby, and Mario versus Kony. Mainly to keep it proportionably fair, because if we put Kony against Kirby, he could literally just kick him out of the arena, even though that's an infraction, but loads of people here have infractions because they have headgear and shirts. Anyway, let's cut to the battle against Vault Boy and Kirby. Okay, Vault Boy, I know you're my roommate, but I'm still gonna beat the crap out of you. Wait, what is this? We don't even have actual boxing gloves. Well, it's not like it really matters. Well, yeah, I did grind out XP before this, so I literally have the strength of a dragon, and you are just a flabby little blob of pink, so you'll definitely live. Yep. And here comes the referee. One, two, three, beat the crap out of each other. Whee! Yeah! Oh, oh. oh my goodness, I missed! Yeah. One, two, three! Oh, I thought I had an aneurysm for a moment. Okay, put up your dukes, Vault Boy, I'm gonna beat you up. And Kirby is back in the ring! Yeah. Yeah. All right. I already have two knockouts. One more, and I'm and I've lost. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And our winner is Kirby! But you're not the winner of the whole thing yet. You, you still gotta face off the winner of the next match. But well done. You were an underdog, but you succeeded. Yeah! Yay! Ooh! Whoa! Yeah, you won! Yeah! Next up, Conehead Zombie, also known as Coney. Hi there. Versus Super Mario. Yahoo! Fight! Fight like a little child. Uh, okay, what kind of insult is that? The one that will get you distracted for this uppercut! Ah! Bleh. Oh, that was nothing, Mario. Wait till you see. Uh, wait, that's an infraction. You kicked me. Bleh. Doctor. Oh, wait, no, I don't need one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shouldn't you already been knocked down twice? Yeah, but I didn't act, but my knees never actually touched the floor. Then why do Kirby's knockouts count? Don't question it, it's a stupid little plush video. Yeah! Haha. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, Mario's about to lose. I need to do something. <gasps> I got it. Hey Mario, if you don't get up, I'll tell Nintendo your secret job. No! Nintendo mustn't know about the fact that I'm re-uploading their soundtracks onto YouTube. Okay, Connie, hold up them dukes. <laughs> Flex it. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, you don't. I'm ready to... Seven, eight, nine, 
10. And Mario is our winner of this champion bit thing. <laughs> hey, that was totally unfair. He straight up just killed Coney. Want me to kill you guys? No. Shut up then. Fine. You are about to see the greatest battle of Nintendo characters in history. Mario. There he is. And Kirby. Hi. Now, let's interview them before their battle starts. So Mario, how does it feel that you, one of the greatest video game characters of all time, is going up another great video game character of all time? Kind of odd. Like, I never really knew Kirby personally. Alright, alright. Uh, how do you feel? I could go for some spaghetti after this. Is that what you plan on doing? Sure, even if I lose. So, Kirby, do you think you're gonna win or lose? So, on the outside, you're a little blobby boy who has good balance and it's kind of hard for you to fall. But in the previous round, it showed to us that you are not really good at keeping that balance because you fell over twice and you nearly just failed the whole match for yourself and you wouldn't have been here. Well, um, might be able to win. What do you plan on doing afterwards? If I lose, go home and watch TV. If I win, hold a big celebration with a giant cake. Okie dokie. Well, let's cut to the battle. Three, two, one, brawl! <laughs> Hello there. Whoa, whoa. Ah, okay, that was not a good. I guess I have to. Ooh. That didn't do anything. <laughs> Why are we both tanking me? I don't know. That did nothing. Want to see me do it? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, yeah! I'm a back and ready kid. <laughs> Why didn't you go for the uppercut? Because I didn't feel like it. Well, why don't you... Uh, uh, you hit my nose! Yeah, you can't use your head in a boxing match. So I'm not gonna let you be. You know what I meant. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, you're... Hey, yeah, you're not allowed to jump in a boxing match. Does it matter? Yeah. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you're out, Mario. You're out. <laughs> Kirby, you are the winner of the boxing tournament. What are you gonna do now? I'm gonna travel back in time and kill my past self. Wouldn't that just kill you? Oh, I'll just beat the crap out of him then. Oh boy, can I come? No! Now for the long jump contest. We have... <laughs> Cattail. <laughs> then we have Derpy. <laughs> then we have Sonic the Hedgehog. And then we have Newspaper Zombie. Can I have brains after this? No. <laughs> first up, uh, first up is Cattail. It would be much better if this was a high jump contest, because you know what I could just do. I could just do 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 and then I could just... But I can't, because it's a long jump. Wait, why can't I just go... Oh, wait, I can't travel any energy into my body, body to go flying. Anyway, I guess I'll just do this fairly. Not really far at all. So let's cut to our next competitor, Derpy. Dirty, dirty do. And can you even run? Sure I can. <laughs> uh, not really far, but the same but farther than cattail. So let's cut to our next competitor. How the hell did you get hit over here so fast? I don't even know at this point. Now, I was planning on using my super speed to my advantage. But according to the judges, that would be an infraction. So I'm just gonna do my walking speed. Wee. 
And Sonic got stuck in between Cattail and Derpy. Yeah, this is why I should have gone really fast, but he is the farthest now. So let's go to our final competitor, Newspaper Zombie. Hello. No, I'm gonna get a good run going. Oh, I gotta, I gotta dash to win. Whee! And it appears that Newspaper Zombie has straight up just tripped and fallen. Pretty much declaring everyone in this competition pathetic and stupid. But Sonic made it the farthest. So he's the winner. Oh boy, chili dogs! Oh boy, oh boy, chili dogs! Oh! You know what's ironic? You know what's ironic? This is the winter edition. There is no winter sports yet. Where did they go? Well, uh, the next one, the next one is bobsledding. Whoa, yeah! And I enlisted in that one as well. <laughs> so, uh, where are our bobsleds? Uh, we don't have the budget for bobsleds. So instead, we just taped ice blocks to the bottoms of your feet, so it'll be much more like, um, skiing. Oh no, this is gonna be hell, isn't it? Yep, it is. Well, no worry, I can just dash to the finish. Oh, think again, Sonic. The ice will be very slippery. Oh. Well, this will give me an advantage, because usually I wouldn't even be able to run. Okay, well, uh, just ski. A tree, a doe, a hen. Why are you saying it in Irish? I don't know. Wee! Oh no, I'm stuck on the slope. Better. Yeah, wee! Boris and Sonic are neck and neck, but then. Ah, they squash Wintermelon by accident and get caught in a pile. Ugh. I think they're both unconscious. Wee! It's Danny and it's Wintermelon. Who's gonna win it? Yeah. I win! <laughs> oh well, at least I can remove my icy feet now. Well, I don't even have feet, I just have this plate that I stand on. And finally, the this squad is going up against each other in an ice skating contest where they have to where they have to put on a good show for the judges. Each judge will give a score out of 10, yada, yada, yada. Luigi goes up first. Hmm. I'll give that a solid 4 out of 10. I'll give that a uh, 6. And I'll give that a 7. In total, Luigi has 17 out of 30 points. Yahoo! Next up is Pattaya. <laughs> Big fat zero from each of our judges. Leaving Pattaya disqualified because he can't win. Ah. Next up is Bendy. Alright, you've seen people ice skate, but have you seen somebody ice break dance? Eh, that was good, huh? Yeah, it was fine. Six out of ten. Yeah, I didn't really like it. Three out of ten. That was boring out as hell. Two out of ten. Leaving Bendy with eleven points. And finally, the sloth that we pity so much that we didn't disqualify him immediately knowing that he was a sloth. That was wonderful. It was such a perfect little embodiment of society and its little consequences. I loved it. A ten from all of us. And the sloth gets max points, because, well, he did a perfect little thing. Good boy. What? Well, good game, sloth. Yeah, you did awesome. No, I cannot accept defeat. I will beat you up. Next Olympics, back in the boxing ring, you, me. One-on-one, -on -one, punch out style. Okay. Now, our finalists, which are currently gold medalists, this sloth. Hey, everybody. Kirby. Hi. 
Danny. Hello there. And Sonic the Hedgehog. Hey, look at me. I like chili dogs. Yeah. There's only one way I think of be that I think that we can make a real winner out of this squad with a sponsorship time. Hello there, I'm Spamton G. Spamton. Have you ever tried recovering from sadness? Well, try these anti-sadness pills and you'll surely not be sad. This was Toad after the filming of his least favorite video, 50 Ways to Kill Toad. Yeah, that video was terrible. I hated it and, well, a lot of people liked it, but I hated it. I didn't like being killed repeatedly. So we gave him these pills and now he's jolly as ever. So, big shots, what are you waiting for? Are you gonna buy it? Are you gonna be a loser? Well, if you're gonna be a loser, then just die. If you're gonna buy it, well, call this number on your screen right now. Or maybe call this number on your screen right now. Or don't call either of them, because they're not real phone numbers. So anyway, the only way I think of that we're gonna be able to find a true winner out of this squad is with a rap battle. Boo, that's such a cheesy ending to all of this. It's so crappy, no one would like it. You are most definitely correct, but the problem is, I don't care. Epic crap battles of the universe! Kirby! Versus! The sloth, which we have named Mr. Wimbledon. Hi, I'm Mr. Wimbledon. Begin! Hey, I'm Kirby, I've got a gun behind my back. If you think you'll win, I'll just eat you like a snack. I be spitting straight facts. Why don't you just go right back to the zoo and get back to eating your own poo? I'm just a pink puff ball. Hit the wall like any good ball. Then I bounce up to the top and then I take it all. I may be small, but I'm in Super Smash Bros. Brawl and I'm gonna make me fall right to your doom. Next, Sloth. Begin! I, I'm the goodest at rhymes. If you fail against me, you ought to have a bad time, man. Yo, I've got the drip, and I'm about to take a sh I'll be in the bathroom dumping my waste, and then you'll just be considered a disgrace. Ace. Who wins? Who's next? You don't decide, because we've already got judges, and there's probably- and we've already, like, chosen contestants for the next rap battle. Well, that was the cringiest thing I have ever witnessed in my entire existence. Eh, yeah, but I do think that Kirby should win. I don't know, man, that Sloth guy got bars. Well, Sloth literally fell asleep during his rap, so I think Kirby should win. So Kirby advances on to the next round. You know, the thing that Kirby said about going back to the zoo might be a good idea. Actually, I was never in a zoo. I'm just a wild little animal. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm. On to the next round! Danny versus Chronic Constipation. I mean, Sonic the Hedgehog. Begin! Hey, yo, Sonic, what you doing over there? You know all hedgehogs smell like dairy. And That's racist. You hate it? Why don't you say it to my face then? I literally just did. Okay then, why don't you go live in a chicken pen? Or maybe talk to Ben or do a little zen. Huh. Now on to Sonic. Okay, Danny, I'll give you credit. Those rhymes were kind of good there. And yeah, it's true. I smell a bit like a derriere. But it's no worse than the next verse that's coming at you. The place where you rehearse is literally just your bathroom. You once tried to steal a woman's purse and then she beat the crap out of you. You were screaming, ah, it hurts, while the woman was dancing next to you. You little piece of poo. And the worst part is, all of that is true. Eh, uh, I'm gonna have to vote for Sonic on that one. Eh, uh, Sonic was good. Sorry, Sonic, but Danny's my kind of man. So Sonic advances to the final round. yoo -hoo. Oh well, good game. Wait, where's the intro? That's because this last round isn't a rap battle because I can't come up with any more lyrics. Instead, it's a Yo Mama battle! Wait, so how does that work? Bro, you've seriously never been in a Yo Mama battle? Okay, it's where pe it's where two people start throwing Yo Mama style roasts at each other. And um, it goes on until the second one 
Until, like, the first or second one comes up with an extremely whack one that doesn't, like, get people wooing. Okay, okay, I get you. You know what, the most ironic thing is that neither of us have mothers. Like, canonically in the Sonic movie, my mama died, but I'm not modern Sonic, I'm classic Sonic, so that doesn't apply to me. And before you start saying Sonic Underground, Sonic Underground does not exist. Sonic Underground does not exist. Son well, let's just start the stupid Yo Mama battle. Okay, Yo Mama's so old that she sat next to Cleopatra in school, and her high school crush was Jesus. Ooh, that's a good one. Yo Mama's so dumb that she pronounces memes as memes. Heh, <laughs> that's funny. Yo Mama's so fat that I took a picture of her last Christmas, and it's been a year and the photo is still printing. Well, whenever Yo Mama stands on a weighing scale, it says to infinity and beyond like Buzz Lightyear. Oh! Well, Yo Mama's so poor and raggedy that one time I saw her walking down the street. She was missing a shoe, and I asked her, Hey, you missing a shoe or you lost a shoe? And she said, Nope, I found one. Oh! Yo Mama's so easily offended that I didn't put a trigger warning on the fridge that there was food and she got scared by the salami. Well, your mom is so old that she was able to get a selfie with the guys who made the pyramids. Your mom is so stupid that she thought Fortnite was a game about a two-week-long video game. Well, your mom is so stupid that she thought the term nerfing, as in like nerfing a video game character, was an acronym. Your mom is so stupid she doesn't even know what an acronym is. Your mom is so old she was the she was the inventor of homework. Well, your mama is so out of touch that she still posts your Ugandan Knuckles memes. Well, your mama is so evil that guns don't cause violence, she does. Well, your mama is so ugly that the dentists have to perform face down surgeries on her and doctors have to be blindfolded when doing surgery on her. Or else they'll die from the ugliness. Time's up! Now, judges, review who was the best Yo Mama Roaster. Well, Sonic deserves my respect because of how cool he was when he was roasting Kirby. Uh, I vote Kirby mostly because he used Yo Mama so out of touch and that one's kind of an underrated joke. Now it's all down to Waddle Dee to decide the final winner of the Polish Olympics 2022 winner. Like, winter, not winner. Sorry, I was saying it wrong. I pick Kirby. Yippee! Yeah, I still have the gun. I'm not gonna shoot anyone with it. I just put it behind my back. Ah, chili dogs. I better go get some fiddle sticks. And now, Kirby is the grand winner of the Plush Olympics. Kirby, what are you gonna do now? What I told you I was gonna do earlier. Have a massive cake and have a massive party. Oh boy, can I come? No.